The thing is that questions. I, I, I love when cinema brings questions in your head, in your heart. When uh, uh, me, I like movies that stay are, are staying with me for days or weeks. You know, that's that's the beauty of cinema when you create images or and those images cr uh, create emotions or questions inside yourself that. Uh, you bring with you at home and uh, makes you think about the world not today. I mean, that's the, those are the movies I love, and that's why I, uh, I would like to do as a filmmaker. I've always considered cinema foremost as a tool for storytelling, although I've never thought it conceivable that cinema could ever just tell stories. Films are forged in the minds of artists, minds overflowing with a lifetime of experiences, and it's each of these experiences which plays the role of influencer to every creative filmic decision. Cinematic thought is, in essence, an exploration of oneself, from what the artist considers life's most imperative questions to what is deemed a moral act. This elemental human import results in cinema being either a means to better understand the world in which we live, or something so personal that it could only be the abstraction of art that could offer any semblance of an explanation. The true art of filmmaking is to transpose it from mere storytelling to a cathartic instrument for mankind. A manner wherein for a brief moment it's the impression of real life which makes reality and all its nuances make sense. Cinema is the human dream a way to understand how our trauma fits into this existential jigsaw. She's wondering why I'm not there to fucking rescue her. Do you understand that? Right. Me, not you, not you, but me, every day. Right. So forgive me for not going home to have a good night's rest. But perhaps the greatest way to wield cinema is as a synthesis, to use stories of high personal drama to present them as a reflection of the issues that pervade all of humanity, a fusion of the personal with the universal. And this is the perfect encapsulation of the cinema of Denis Villeneuve. I feel the best thing that can be said about Villeneuve's work is that he generates films of such a haunting complexion that they remain with you. They mirror the world we live in while simultaneously displaying the rawness of the human condition. I like when the stories can have uh we can relate to the stories from an intimate point of view like this. And the, the story can be about politics from a sociopolitics socio point of view, but still you relate, re, you relate to the story uh, from, uh, with intimacy. And that, uh, it's always the best story. But how exactly does Villeneuve spawn stories of such a chilling proportion yet sustain that intimacy? It requires investment of the audience. And to achieve that, Villeneuve relies on filmmaking techniques that emphasize mystery. All right, we're good. Just don't keep us in the dark. All right. You're afraid of the dark. What I believe to be the strength of Villeneuve's movies is the ability to control information. Regulating what the audience sees is the role of any filmmaker, from deciding which subject will be the focus to literally guiding our eyes through framing. But Villeneuve's filmmaking is more concerned with placing larger emphasis on what the audience doesn't see. No one was in glass, remember? No. No. The human imagination can be infinitely worse than reality, and thus Villeneuve never permits the audience to see the whole picture. He will often transition to a new scene before its climax, or simply cut out entire portions of a scene. Often the unknown is what is most terrifying, and the audience's insufficient knowledge encourages them to fill in the gaps of the story that Villeneuve purposefully keeps hidden. If we were shown everything, our mind is given closure, but when we aren't, we torment ourselves in wondering exactly what is being hidden from us. Villeneuve loves to leave questions for the audience. Whether it's the identity of our antagonist or the truthfulness of a character, Villeneuve constructs his scenes by offering us fragments of information, details that are more than we anticipated, but less than what we need for a definite answer. They didn't cry until I left. 
The key is that Villeneuve finds from which perspective he will be able to exploit the most in order to both simultaneously hide information and reveal just a fraction. We may discover clues alongside our protagonist or cut away at the most vital moment. The goal is to find from which point offers us the most drama. Filmmaking for me because it's, uh, it's all about the notion of point of view. I think the most important thing in cinema is to, uh, to suggest and not to show. For Villeneuve, the ideology behind filmmaking can be summarized under what information we receive and how we receive it. And for Villeneuve, it's through suggestion, a method of storytelling to use as little visual information as possible to say as much as you possibly can. Because sometimes, the smallest pieces can say more than the complete picture ever could. Villeneuve will focus on the details of a person, hands gripping onto a bed, the details of a foot, rather than where the drama actually lies. <laughs> it's a suggestion. He doesn't directly show us the truth, but he shows us a portion of the truth. It's as though Villeneuve focuses on the segment of the image which doesn't directly give the audience an answer, but it says enough that we can envision a truth so harsh that it can't be directly looked at. The atmosphere of Villeneuve's film stems from this unknown. One way to define his work is a fondness for dark material, but what makes it all the more powerful is how Villeneuve manages to create a constant sense of dread. It's a filmography which always feels on the brink of something awful about to happen. It's a ceaseless apprehension, and it comes down to the visual style that Villeneuve has created. The most apparent thing about the look of Villeneuve's films is that his camera work is objective and methodical. The camera rarely moves, but when it does, it acts with a kind of omniscience, as if it has a mind of its own, objectively presenting events that seem destined to happen. Villeneuve's early work was far more based around a handheld and frantic style, but over time it developed into a style which prioritises a very meticulous image. The result is something very sinister, as though the camera knows something that we don't, and acts in a manner to try and reveal that information. Most of Villeneuve's framing is done in wide angles with deep focus. We see the entire frame with a stark clarity, as if to show us the answers to the mysteries are in plain view, we're just looking in the wrong places. But Villeneuve also likes to use this framing to heighten our character insignificance. Villeneuve likes to isolate his subjects, whether it's by cornering them in the frame or by using the landscape as a threat itself. The camera's usage makes subjects seem inconsequential one way or another, with the visual language putting them in a state of seclusion. The purpose is to show that through isolation comes helplessness, and this is exactly the same notion that comes with mystery, being in the unknown. The visuals are an extension of the idea of what it is to be dwarfed by an engulfing force. Villeneuve accentuates dread, and the crux of his imagery is based around this concept, something foreboding, something unexplained. Scenes are shot at an incredibly slow pace in order to absorb all surrounding atmosphere, but a staple for Villeneuve is the interjection of scenes with objects of interest that at first glance seem unrelated, but leave us with a feeling. These moments are more like exclamation points to punctuate the current emotion pervading the scene. They express something indefinable, but they do conjure something unnerving. If the scene continued without these edits, they wouldn't feel as foreboding, but with them, they serve as a harbinger to the inevitable danger approaching our characters. Look, I know you're a good guy, right? I know you're a decent guy. Mm. I'm not trying to tell you you're doing anything bad. I'm just trying to get the right answers out of you, okay? The real ones. That's all I want. And in order to accentuate the trepidation, Villeneuve, rather than holding the camera still on subjects, opts to employ very subtle zooms. The effect of this is small, 
but important. When we see scenes where the camera is immobile, we're more likely to take the scene at face value because it's being presented to us as flatly as possible. But if the camera has a conscious thought process behind its actions, then there's a suggestion of a deeper subtext to the shot. The zoom gives the impression that each time one is used, some kind of a revelation is about to occur. Yet when it doesn't, the audience's suspicions are heightened, uncertain of what relevance the scene had, and therefore paying keener attention to the details that follow. Memory is a strange thing. It doesn't work like I thought it did. But why does Villeneuve want to employ mystery in all of his movies? Because in the work of Denis Villeneuve, we're shown the fragility of the human mind when we lose sight of what we know because of our obsession for seeking the truth. You know, sometimes it's better to not to know all of them. Mr. I live with you, of course. Continue. Villeneuve is able to exploit the drama of scenes through when and how he reveals information. We may return to a scene and see it from multiple perspectives, only to realise that when we thought we had the answer, we were in fact solving the wrong mystery this whole time. We become just like our characters, who too are looking for answers, unaware that they're not asking the right questions. Our judgement becomes clouded as soon as we become emotionally invested, and Villeneuve presents us with a world that appears clear on its surface, yet we soon learn that our vision was always hindered by our own biases. Nothing is black and white, there's no objective morality in these worlds, everything we know becomes questioned. And it's through the implementation of mystery that Villeneuve reveals that there are no definitive answers, because we must be the ones to craft our own morality. We must recognise what we already know and question it. We must accept that we don't have all the answers, even when we're so certain of it. There's a cyclical nature in the films of Denis Villeneuve. The answers to a character's questions are often revealed to us right at the beginning of the story. Only at the end of the journey do we realise that we've come full circle, but it's only by entering the unknown that our true selves fully emerge.